Good day everybody, Dangerous Banana here with a very unprofessional review of Sultana Friedenberg General Aviation Airport in the Western Cape. This airport was made by NMG Solutions and uh, I was obliged to buy it because I, I've been here a couple of times and uh, I love this area, it's a very picturesque area near the Langavan Lagoon so I bought it and um, it looks very nice the buildings are all in their correct places the textures look good and sharp and the layout is correct so let's just mosey around the airport I'm not going to use the free camera mode I'm just going to get into the plane and taxi all over the place um, because that's how I do it man um, let's get into the plane and start her up. I'm using the cheating method, just uh, control E and it starts the plane right up. And it makes life a bit easier for me just for this video. Okay, I'm gonna make a U turn and we can. Uh, Let's just move out to the front gate quickly, which is where you usually come into the airport. I've got my 4x4 engaged here, so uh, I think we'll be able to taxi through the mud and the dirt here in the front. Ooh, the gate. Oh, well, let's just go right through it. Seeing that the gate is the fence is a bit uh, floating in mid air, but uh, I guess from the air you don't really notice that, do you? And I mean, this airport only cost me 150 rand, which is almost nothing compared to what other airports might cost you. That's a very nice front gate, exactly how it looks in real life. Okay, let's uh, live dangerously and make a U-turn on the road, yeah? <laughs> Hope there's no traffic officers around. I think they need to get some gardening services going here. Yeah? Uh, weed out this parking lot. Stop! No vehicles behind this point. Who's gonna stop me? Nobody. Okay. This airport, uh, wow, there I see a bit of floaty hangers. I guess that's for flooding purposes, I don't know. Uh, yeah. Well, as I said, 150 rand. And the uh, SDK is still in its early development stages, so I guess people are having some trouble getting everything to work perfectly, figuring it out. Uh, by the way, the parking on the opposite side of the runway is also, as far as I know, I've never seen aircraft park there before. I don't know if that's something one can change when you build the airport. If it's just put there by default. This airport is in the flood in the sim by default, but it looks very sparse uh, in its default version. This area is it's a very beautiful area. We'll take off and I'll just uh, circle the airport and take you out towards the lagoon maybe. And we'll look at that. And the big uh, steel factories. That is a landmark yeah, in Sultana area. Uh, let's just taxi to the 
this little patch of gravel and then we'll turn around over here and take off brakes. This little plane is a little gem by the way. I love flying this thing. It's so easy to fly and uh, got great views out of the cockpit. So let's go. Lots of flaps, throttle. And it's very square here, I can't seem to keep it on the center line. The layout of the airport looks accurate. Uh, as I said, I've been here a couple of times, and uh, this is how it looks exactly like that. The white dirt. Approach crossbow 442 as type flight design MDCT one miles west of Foxtrot Alpha Sierra Delta. Request flight following. of 150 rand it's uh, I mean it's that's fine with me. Four, four, a lot of guys develop airports put tons of work into it. Copy crossbow four four two uh, and I'm just happy to have scenery for South Africa. As I live in the Western Cape area myself, it's nice to have these airports in. Okay, let's head over to the steel factories in the lagoon area, then you can see what that looks like. That factory that you see there on the top of your screen is the Furco Steel. to your I'll point the aircraft in that direction now is uh, Club Mykonos the holiday resort which is situated on the Longabon Lagoon let's just zoom past the steel factory here yeah? and then uh, turn around
of the aircraft now are big uh, oil storage tanks. Or at least that's what I think it is. Now huge underground tanks. That's Club Mykonos there to our left. Lagoon is a, is a Langabon Lagoon is a very beautiful uh, lagoon. As you travel down to the south of end of the lagoon, the water becomes a lovely turquoise blue color, and it's also a nature reserve. So it's a very nice area to fly with a small aircraft. City of Saldana on the left there, the main Norway area. This is the Iron Wall Docks. This area on the right here is where they maintain the oil rigs. Let's turn in and go in for a landing again there. Oh, the water looks nice, I just want to go dive in there. pop it down and then get some flaps in there get it back on the ground I'm just gonna go by feel now exactly now what the landing speed is on this little baby but it's all for demonstration purposes so who cares man as I said look nice and crisp all these hangers are new on the right here let's just change the time a bit to later in the day and see what the lighting looks like I guess they're going to be fighting It seems like it's only the tower building that there's lights on But I guess that makes sense because this airport doesn't really have any traffic after dark uh, The little clubhouse has lights on as well some of the guys having a couple of beers there after a nice day of flying. 
One thing I found also the, the seating seems a bit oversized for the building. I'm not sure it's, it's quite accurate there. But yeah, that's my unprofessional review of uh, Sultana Airport by NMG Solutions. I'll just uh, see if I can put a link in there for you guys. Thanks for watching. If you want to subscribe, please do. If you want to like the video, please do. If you want to dislike the video, don't. Well, just kidding. You can dislike it if you want. Have a nice day, guys. See you next time.